Vengeance is coming to North Carolina. Though not really for what I hoped for. I'm Chris Wall with the wrestling vlogger who always tells it like it is. Three out of five for the Royal Rumble. Got the first three, then got close with my secondary pick for the Women's Rumble, and totally messed up the Reigns Owens fight, though. I did predict the dropping of Sami Zayn from the bloodline. More on that next week. Anyway, you would think that NXT would pick a better place in their, for their first PLE outside of the Performance Center since last year's Stand and Deliver. <clears throat> oh, nothing's wrong with North Carolina as a whole. It's a beautiful state. But it's their politics that I feel are stuck in the 19th century. I'm still thinking they're going to change their state motto on the border signs to If you're LGBT, then GTFO. I mean, maybe that's changed over the last few years, but I doubt it very much. Well, in any case, the show in Charlotte is essentially NXT Night of Champions. All five titles are on the line tonight in various degrees of chaos. And tack on a two or a three... Falls match between in between a former U.S. champ and a former North American champ for variety's sake. Seems okay on paper, but we all know pro wrestling isn't played on paper. It's played on Peacock and the WWE Network for around 15 bucks a month. Time for NXT to show the Tar Heel state that sweaty men in spandex grabbing each other is not something that should be remain in private. Here are my predictions for NXT Vengeance Day 2023. We'll start with the two out of three falls match, Apollo Crews versus Carmelo Hayes. All right, this feud is getting a bit long in the tooth for me, as is Apollo acting like that's so Raven. Can't he see that his career is going nowhere in NXT? If he's not some kind of champ after Stan and Deliver, they need to either make an awesome tag team of him and Bobby Lashley, or let him go to AEW or the like. Not that Hayes has been all that lately. I mean, sure, he won that breakout tournament and won the North American title from it, but since then, eh. Anyhow, like most such matches, this will go to three falls, and Apollo will make that final fall count. Winner is Apollo Crews. NXT Women's Tag Team Titles. Team KC defense against Keanu James and Fallon Henley. This so-called love triangle was annoying from the get-go. If Jensen can't choose between the two, Brooks needs to smack the crap out of him and hopefully put some sense into him. But there's no way that Daisy Duke Henley and glass ceiling, what glass ceiling, uh, James, uh, are going to be cohesive enough to take out Carter and Chance. As much as I'd like to see new champs, Casey and Casey have it all over the paramours of BJ and JB. Let James and Henley go back to fighting each other for crying out loud. Winners and still champs, Team Casey. Fatal four way for the NXT Tag Team Championships New Day versus Gallus versus Pretty Deadly versus Chase U. Kingston and Woods have overstayed their welcome in NXT, okay? They wanted to become Triple Crown Tag Champs, and they did. Good for them. But now it seems they're setting things up so that they have to lose and go back to SmackDown. And quite frankly, they need to do that. But who will get the titles? Definitely not Pretty Deadly. They've had it for too long before New Day showed up. And Chase U? Regardless how lucky they were to get into the match, they're still jobbers to the stars in my book. That leaves Gallus, and I think it's about time they took the gold that should have got, they should have got at Worlds Collide. Winners and new champs, Gallus. North American Championship, Wesley takes on Dijak. Or Dijak, or whatever. I'm just glad to see he got the T-bar out of his brain and returned to what he knows. It is a shame that Keith Lee isn't gone so that they could continue to fight forever. But the former Dijakovic deserves some praise after playing Patsy to Mustafa Ali for a while. Better, th better that than being in the maximum mo male models. 
Now, I do like Wesley. I'm not sure how, how he's still thriving after his MSK partner got busted, but sure enough, he is. But for a guy like him, his current title is about as good as he's going to get. Wouldn't mind Dijak getting a stepping stone to the NXT title, so that's what I'm picking. Winner and new champ, Dijak. Triple threat for the NXT Women's Championship. Roxanne Perez versus Gigi Dolan to NJC Jane. This match will go to prove that Toxic Attraction is nothing without their porn star, our leader. She brought them in to help hold her fluff, uh, hold the fluff, I mean title, nearby. But when she herself couldn't swing it, she left Gigi and JJ to their device while she made millions playing with her devices. This will be just like those all title matches from many a moon ago. The tag team will pull each other off the fallen singles champ because it's the only one title and they each want it. Not that Perez won't make it hard for them, but once it stops being two on one, Perez can easily divide and clobber. And the once rosy team will be back on their boobs. Their ass! Their, oh, oh, heck with it. Winner and still champ Roxanne Perez. Finally, steel cage match for the NXT Championship. Braun Breaker versus Grayson Waller. Talk about a guy who needs to go to the main roster and fast. Breaker has made his papa proud with the way he dominated NXT, but perhaps it's time for the Empire to crumble. Otherwise, it would look like he's being protected like Roman Reigns. The only downside with the steel cage match is that Waller won't be able to use his finisher. Not like he can dive through the ropes for the neck breaker when the ropes are surrounded by steel link fence. But that's not how it will end. I'm thinking back to St. Mas Saint Va Valentine's Day Massacre or one of the crown jewels. I think Breaker, after giving a severe beating to Walk Waller, will throw the Aussie so hard against the cage that the panel will swing open or collapse to the ground, allowing Waller to exit the cage and win the title. We can always get a different face champ at s and okay? Winner and new champ, Grayson Waller. Those are my picks. Now, GTFO out of NC until their politicians get their heads out of their ASS. I'm Chris Wall with the Wrestling Blog, who always tells it like it is. Stay safe, pray for peace, and I'll see you.